Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. This is the second chapter of uh, rigging in Maya. Okay, so we have already discussed about the uh, creation of creation of the joints in uh, Autodesk Maya, and uh, as uh, I stated in the first chapter, that we are going to jump into the uh, character rig, and uh, from the second chapter, and here we s this is our character that we are going to rig, and. Uh, in this chapter, uh, we will see that how we can uh, create a bone structure within a uh, character. So, to start with, I'll uh, start with the spine joints. So, this is the spine of the character, and uh, there are uh, several ways to uh, create the joints within the spines. Uh, it absolutely up to you whether you, you want to follow any any kind of uh, processes but uh, uh, I will just give you a, s a very simple idea that how you can uh, create the joint structures very easily so just uh, move on to side view and first of all uh, you need to understand the, uh, the basic structure of this character that uh, how the anatomically it's built up and you can see this this is a spine curvature uh, that we are actually looking for and this is the way uh, the bone structure uh, need to be placed according to our character so and uh, we have a uh, center of gravity over here the pelvis area so I'll start with that uh, pelvis area as a you know starting point from around this 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 point so this is our uh, pelvis pelvic area so we want to the side views and go to skeleton and join tool just make sure everything is reset as it's uh, I told you that uh, start with uh, we don't have to uh, very bother about the, those uh, uh, settings but uh, in case of the bone radius you can uh, make it uh, pretty much uh, uh, let's say in make it 0.5 so that means uh, your short and bone uh, short and long bone length are really almost equal so just uh, click on the midpoint and don't put uh, the enter button just uh, make sure that you are in the front viewport and your mirror joint sorry your extra joint tool is on so that you can have your joint also the shaded view of the character switch on this little button that is called extra joints and also you can switch on sorry you can switch on the wireframe on shaded so that's the way you can see where your joints are going on so just middle mouse and drag this over there that's my uh, middle point of the center of gravity okay fine now what we'll do I'll just create my joints now don't have to bother about uh, the structure of your joints or anything because anyway you are going to uh, use this or change this in a later stage like though I'm created like this way I can anytime change my joint positions or joint locations uh, anywhere I really want to so select this and press D and you can change like this select and press D and you will have your selection over the joints and you can manually select any joint and you'll have your full control for movement without affecting the other joints just select the joints press D 
and there it is fine now by the uh, you know the muscle structure or the anatomy of this particular model I can see that uh, my collarbone should come up from from this portion so uh, this joint should be a bit upwards so just pull it up same things will be like with this and this now there here you have to uh, decide how many uh, controllers you want to create within this uh, structure I mean the how many controllers you really want to have in your spine area one two or three or whatever it is so here one single is a pelvis that is going on one is the mid side of the character and another one is the chest and so on so that's where uh, I have to rename my bone structure and just go to the attribute editor by control A and rename the joint names like this is a pelvis this is really very important because this is gonna help you immensely on uh, you know in in case of uh, skinning that's that's why and uh, you have to maintain this from the very beginning otherwise you're gonna f forget it and at the time of skinning you will be nowhere so it will be complete mess so to avoid that from the beginning just remember to rename those uh, joints according to your requirement or the joint naming naming convention that you have uh, set for your project so uh, this will be my spine zero one this will be my spine underscore zero two this will be spine and screw zero three so on this joint needs to be a bit uh, upwards because this will be the fine it's like neck now I want to add a joint after that I need my one joint to be over here for head so how can I do that in the skeleton menu you can have an option that's called connect joint fine but how can you add another joint so first you just go to joint tool create one single joint and I have to connection I have to create the connection between these two now in the early chapter I have already told you that for creating the connection the connection is actually one uh, single relationship between these two joints that means you have to be dependent or independent according to our requirement so in this case this joint will be dependent on this joint that means this neck joint uh, sorry uh, this will be head one head underscore zero one and this will be head underscore zero two so head zero two will be the child joint of head zero one so first select this child joint then shift select the parent would be parent joint and then press P and therefore you are already connected this uh, joint now there are another way to connect it the same in similar fashion just shift P and uh, disconnect the connection just first select the again you just have to first select the parent child joint then uh, you have to select the parent go to the 
skeleton menu and there is an option called connect joint now against connect joint by default this is a mode is being in connect joint and then the one is parent joint now i have to select the parent joint because i really want a relationship also over here so go to the parent joint option and then say connect here you can see the connection has been made now my spine joint system has been created now as a rigger you have to understand one more thing and you have to remember every time you are working on any kind of project that your joints needs to be freeze this is really really very important now go to windows oops, sorry modify and freeze transformations now this is really very important because is there any kind of garbage value in your rotationals let's say I I want to I want to adjust by rotating this joint a bit like this or maybe like this and therefore you will have a very very few garbage values in the rotational axis that we really don't want to that's we have to avoid at any cost so for that thing select the to avoid those select that root joint and go to modify and freeze transformation option box edit and reset settings what are these these are actually freeze the translate rotate and scale value though in case of joints you don't see any kind of trans freeze transformation uh, values to zero for the translate because that translate value is actually depend on the parent but in the rotate and the scale has been zeroed out always also you can zero out the ori joint orientation and also the normals in this case as we are uh, freezing the uh, <coughs> the joints normals uh, don't go f go with this and also right now i am not at all uh, uh, freezing the joint orientation i will go for the for the default one so just hit freeze transformation and you can see i have rotate this one and this values has been zeroed out and that's how easily you can zero out your rotation values this is very Im important that you zero out your rotation values of your joints so that's a that's a first uh, uh, way to create your uh, spine joints and also remember these two things one is that how do you connect the, your joints with one single joints to another one or another chain or how can you keep your relationship the parent child relationship keep also how can you freeze your rotation values of the joints so hope you enjoy this and we'll move on to the next chapter please uh, join our facebook page and also the twitter and definitely uh, subscribe to our youtube channel to keep up with our uh, new upcoming tutorials so thank you very much